<laughs> Question for Darian. Um, you have the two picks. Um, you guys got some turnovers, some pressure, but committed a lot of uh, penalties. Uh, what did you think about the overall defensive performance? Uh, I think we did all right on defense. Uh, a lot better with our communication. So we was up and on in uh, some in the spring, in the summer, and fall camp. So uh, I believe the communication. I mean, it can get a lot better. It can improve, but just flying around, we're really working on flying around more, more communication. So. I mean, it's good. We can have, you know, 130-some yards and penalties, so that hurt us a lot. Hey, Jaden, looked like you went down with a cramp there. Is that the case, and how are you feeling? Yeah, I cramped up. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you feeling good now? Yeah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead, Michael. Rashad, just your overall thoughts. I mean, obviously, great game rushing, but, I mean, the offensive line, how did you feel that, I mean, their communication was and their dom – did you feel they were dominant up front? Uh, yeah, I felt they was they did well. They did what we expected them to do. Uh, like offensive line up front, uh, them, them five are great guys, and you know they're gonna come out every week and compete. Any questions for the guys? Got this mic, Chris. Can go ahead, Chris. Jaden, obviously, first game there was some, you know, stuff you guys would like back. How, how would you say you guys played offensively overall? And as you start practice next week, what do you think you really need to work on? Uh, if I'm uh, if I'm being honest, I feel like we we play sloppy on offense. You know how I many penalties we had a whole bunch of penalties. I think these guys would say the same thing. I mean, we still execute on some 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 things, but we got to limit the penalties and mistakes, just the little things. I feel like we play we play sloppy. Uh, o line did a great job run blocking and pass blocking though, but mm -hmm. it's just the little mistakes out there on the perimeter that that took back a couple big plays for us. But I mean, going forward, we can't we can't beat a team with this many pen, with this many penalties. So I mean, we just got to clean up the little things. But it was the first game, uh, got the wind under our belt, so we're just moving on to the next week. Ricky, how would you assess just kind of the offensive play overall, and what things contributed to some of what Jaden was talking about there? Yeah, I mean, obviously, what Jaden was saying, it was a sloppy outcome with the offense and having a lot of penalties. I mean, we still put 41 on the board, even with those many penalties, but it was killing some of our jobs, and we can't have that going forward. But, I mean, obviously, there was still positive plays out that came out of it and stuff like that with the run game, but we need to go back and fix those so we don't have any of that going forward. Michael. And then, Darren, speaking of penalties, obviously, I mean, it was tough. You talk about the communication defense, but how tough was it to lose uh, to lose Tyler early on like that? No, uh, uh, Losing Tyler is always big, man. You know, that's the guy who wants to be out there and, who you gonna give everything you got? You know, he's one of those guys who just got a nose for the football. He's always around the ball. Good things happen when he's around the ball. So it's always big when you lose a guy like that, man. But it's, it, it's all good. We're gonna clean it up, practice, make sure stuff like that don't happen again. So we good. So for Rashad, there was a lot of talk about the rushing offense last season. So how did it feel to come out in game one and put up a rushing performance like tonight? Uh, I mean, it felt okay. It just felt good to be out there in general. I mean, all the guys will say that. Uh, especially in front of the fans because that's my first time ever seeing that many people. But uh, like I said, it was great. Uh, we was executing to the best we could. And I mean, like Jaden said, some things we got to clean up. But uh, overall, like uh, rushing offense, you know, we just not getting complacent and we just going to keep working. Any other questions for the guys? So then going off of that first time in front of fans, what was that like for you here at Sun Devil Stadium? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm a guy that'd be locked in. But I mean, with them making all that noise, you realize it. But uh, it was just, you know, blessed, man. I'm just grateful to be in this position. I'm grateful to be right here now talking to you guys. Like, I never, you know, never thought in my life this, you know, this would happen. But, you know, that's kind of what it summed up to be. Rashad, you're involved on special teams. What was your reaction seeing freshman punter Eddie Chipleski come out and pin the guys down on the one in the first punt? Oh, man, that was great. That was awesome. Uh, you know, like you said, he's a freshman, young guy. He had to, st uh, you know, step in, kind of feel some big shoes uh, with Turk, uh, Michael Turk leading. So uh, just seeing him do that punt and that gave him confidence, you know, to keep uh, building off of that. It was great to see, especially as a team morale and see all the guys, like, you know, just go up to him and, you know, really hype for him. Uh, for Rashad and Jaden, early in the fourth quarter, you guys were standing on the sideline, and Herm was talking to both of you and pointing up at the scoreboard. I'm guessing he was pointing at the penalty yardage. What, what was he? What was he saying to you guys? <laughs> we can't handle many penalties. Um, like I said, I feel uh, me personally. I just feel like all around we can, we got to clean things up uh, if we want to win a. Uh, fulfill our dreams and win the Pac-12 championship. We can't have that many penalties. That's sustaining drives. That's killing drives. 
uh, getting the other team's offense uh, drives and more momentum. So at the end of the day, we just got to clean that stuff up. Jaden and Ricky, with the run game working as well as it was, you didn't really have to throw the ball a whole lot. Was that kind of the plan, or were you guys expecting to air it out a little bit more? I mean, we were expecting to air it out a little bit more, but when you're up by so much, you just want to run the clock off and get the win. So, I mean, that's what we did. We just kept running the ball, and it, it was working. So, Yeah, I mean, I'll piggyback off that. I, I felt like um, we came out, uh, I was in a good rhythm. The, the offense was in a good rhythm. Uh, receivers were doing what they did, make a couple of big catches. But you, like I said, our, our run game was so dominant. We're up by so many points. You know, uh, the coaches made a. I say they just made a business decision. You know, run the clock, get everybody out health, get everybody out the game healthy. So I mean, uh, we'll just go on and build on this for next week. Uh, Jaden, what what are your strategies to um, talk to your your teammates about the discipline, penalties, that kind of stuff? Like, how do you handle that? Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> um, it was after one drive. I want to say um, we had Rashad had had scored, um, but um, there was a I threw a swing to him at first play, and we had a, a, a unnecessary roughness. Um, just the little things that's, that's momentum killers that just back us up. Maybe out of field goal range because if we didn't get any more yards, we might have been out of field goal range. So after that drive, you know, I brought the the receivers up, and I, I told them like we just can't do this. At the end of the day, most of our penalties came on the perimeter. Um, it wasn't nothing inside the, the uh, tackle box. It was mostly on the perimeter. So was, that's the receivers tied in. So I just told them we got to clean this up. Like the little things matter. Um, that just goes back to locking in the practice. Um, it's coming focused because at the end of the day, it shows up in the game. And yeah, we were we were um, a better team than Southern Utah. But at the end of the day, like if we play a, a Washington or a SC, you know, those could kill those could kill us in the future. So we just got to clean up the little things. And then Jaden, I know you said obviously. Offense felt a little sloppy, but obviously having a full spring and a full fall camp with the receivers, did you feel the the communication and the chemistry there with them? In this yeah, first I, felt, I felt great. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I got in rhythm early. You know, threw a, a deep ball to, to Andre. Uh, he made it a great catch that we converted. We uh, threw a deep ball, another deep ball uh, to Ricky. Um, just getting in rhythm, and I felt in rhythm. Uh, that just helped out a lot. That's just working in spring ball, fall camp, um, be able to. <laughs> to build chemistry with those guys um, and just moving on forward from that. And like you said, I, we go against uh, the best defense in the, in the Pac-12. So at the end of the day, uh, it was going out there, it was, it was easier because we don't get to see those type of guys every day. Uh, Darian, BJ Green was one of the more motivational, <laughs> inspirational stories of uh, the preseason fall camp. He comes in, gets a sack. Uh, how excited were you guys on the defensive side of the ball to see that? Oh, we were really excited. Seeing somebody come to work every day and you know, he doesn't care that he's a walk. He doesn't really care. You know, he comes to work with energy every day. So, and that's what we feed off of. You know, we want guys like that around us in this program and around the team. So, it's good to see him go out there. You know, his first college play. That's that's just something. That's just what you want. You know, guy like that was a dog who has a motor. You know, he's that's we're really excited for him. Most definitely. Ricky, on the rushing touchdown, some receivers set the edge right there at the last second to squeeze you in. How much as a you know as a receiving core do you guys value downfield blocking? Is that something that you guys really prioritize? A lot. I mean, that's one of the biggest aspects in our game that we work on. Um, in practice, we work on perimeter blocking all the time, going against the DBs actually. And um, I think I feel like that just helps us help us out a lot. But um, we had a few penalties with some of our blocking, and um, we need to just fix little things with uh, uh, the fundamentals of blocking, and then just go back and fix it. Darian, how does um, having fans back in the stadium impact your defense, and how does it help you guys as a team? Uh, a lot. You see, I mean, well, especially with being on defense, you know, having a <coughs> home for advantage and having that crowd, you know, going crazy with big third downs, big fourth downs, you know, you need that. You know, offenses can't, sometimes it can be overwhelming for them. So that's something that we, you know, we, we use for our advantage. Like, that we, we're trying to get them more hot, even. They, they get as loud as they can, and I appreciate them for me coming out. You know, finally, first game back, they finally get to step out. So we're looking forward for that in the future. Way more fans. Darren, you've played in a ton of games here, and expectations are higher than ever for this defense. So as a measuring stick, how, how was this performance, and what do you guys need to improve upon? Uh, I promise you, this is not going to be our best performance on defense. Don't, 
we we're going we're going to tighten up the screws we're going to tighten a lot up uh from the line of scrimmage to the secondary so everything everybody's going to be a lot better we're going to clean up everything in practice this week and we're going to gonna fly around and communicate a whole lot more than what we did this week most my promise anything else